Hey everyone, it's Nate here, and in this video I wanted to talk to you about something that I know we all struggle with to some degree at some time, and uh, that's laziness when it comes to playing the guitar. Now as I was coming up uh, with this lesson idea, I was thinking about all the bad habits that I've struggled with over the years and you know other players that I've known have struggled with, and I came up with something, a list called, you might be a lazy guitar player if. So let's dive into this list. Number one, you might be a lazy guitar player if you avoid things that you're not really good at. I know for me, this is kind of a big struggle. Um, for example, I'm not that great at playing over changes or it's something I have to work on a lot. So I avoid it, that's just kind of human nature. If you're bad at changing chords or you know figuring out songs, you're probably gonna tend to avoid that. That's just human nature. You know, We don't like to stink at something, right? Number two, you know you're a lazy guitar player if you get home from work or whatever, school, and you're just tired. The last thing you feel like doing is practicing, so you'll pretty much say to yourself, I'll just do that tomorrow. I'll just do that tomorrow. The danger with that is, once you do it once, it becomes really easy to do that over and over again. And before you know it, you haven't practiced for a week and a half, and you've lost all your momentum and everything you've worked for over the past couple months, right? Number three is something I'm guilty of from time to time. You pick up your guitar, to practice you have 30 minutes or whatever and you end up noodling away your time on stuff that you're already good at or you already know so you don't really see any progress and you're kind of just digging yourself into that rut more and more number four you might be a lazy guitar player if you take off the entire summer from playing guitar and lose all your momentum that you had going and this is a really bad one because if you fall into this trap you're going to spend a couple of months relearning everything that you worked on earlier in the year Number five, you might be a lazy guitar player if you just give up on guitar and start playing the drums. That's a little dig to my drummer friends. I have a lot of drummer friends, so that's a pretty funny one. But seriously, guys, the first four things on that list are things that we all tend to struggle with as guitarists, and they're habits that can really hurt our progress and our momentum as guitarists. So if there's only one thing that you take away from this video, I want it to be this right here. I want you to realize the importance of consistent daily practice. And you know, I know we're all busy. Our schedules are crazy. It doesn't have to be anything nuts. You don't have to lock yourself away for two or three hours. I'm talking something like 10, 20, 30 minutes of consistent practice every day can make all the difference in the world for you. So what I wanted to do is just give you an example of something that I do five or six days a week just to get my hands on the guitar, even if I don't have a ton of time to practice. It takes, you know, 20 minutes and what it's going to do is going to keep your hands in shape. It's going to keep you acclimated to the guitar. And when you have to learn something or you have a gig or, uh, you know, you're going to play a church or gym with your friends or whatever, your hands will be in shape. You will at least maintain where you are on the guitar and you won't be taking steps backwards. So it's going to be broken down into four main sections. And if you have 20 minutes, you know, five minutes each, maybe three minutes each on the first three and then the remaining time for the last one. But the first thing I do is just take my picking hand and warm it up. And all I do is I cover my strings up if I don't want to bug anybody. Pick on the high E string, start slow. And you know, speed up. And that's spaced out over probably 30 seconds, right? I didn't want to bore you in the video, but then I move to the next string and do the exact same thing. Start out slow. This would take much longer in real life. And then I go do that on all six strings until I'm gone through all the way from the high E to the low E. And then what that does, it just exercises my right hand and keeps it in shape for other playing. Okay, the second part to this little 20, 30 minute workout is for your left hand mostly. I pick any scale, doesn't matter which scale. If you only know one scale, minor pentatonic scale or something like that, that's totally fine. I use the chromatic scale just because it works all of my fingers equally and it helps me get a real quick workout. What I do, Kind of similar way to the picking, I start out really slow and just play that scale legato over and over again. So. So again, in real life, that would take you know three to five minutes depending on how much time I have allotted for my little workout session. 
The next thing I do is I put both hands together and I pick through any scale that I want to over and over again just so I can kind of get my hands to match up together and sync up together. So again, start out slowly. Um, let's do just a C major scale. You can pick any scale you want. Again, just start out slow. Get a little faster, a little faster until it starts to break up. And I would do that over and over again, starting slow and getting faster and faster, you know, three to five minutes again, depending on how long I have to practice. And I find that if I do those things on a consistent basis, when I need to learn something new, a song for a gig or whatever, if I just want to learn a new lick or a solo or something, then my hands are a lot more shaped and it's a lot less frustrating because I'm at least maintaining where I've worked up to on the guitar. Okay, the last thing that I do with my time, let's say I've spent uh, 10 or 15 minutes on this stuff so far. What I do is I try to do something musical, whether it's learning part of a new song, learning a solo, learning some licks. My favorite thing to do is put on a jam track and just improvise over it. That way I have a little bit of time to work on new ideas and I get to apply something in a musical context instead of just running scales and stuff like that. So what you should do is pick something, hopefully musical, Set a goal, whether it's to learn a song, learn a solo, um, write a piece of music, jam to a jam track, my favorite one, and do that for the last however many minutes you have. That'll ensure that you're not just plugging away on scales and stuff like that, but you're actually working on something musical. So that's pretty much it, guys. Like I said, this is something I do five or six days a week. That way, if I just don't have time to practice, really, or if I'm working a lot, if I have a gig that comes up, I'll be ready and primed. All I have to really do is learn the songs. I don't have to worry about technique or being my hands being in shape or anything like that. So I hope this little video inspired you to create a daily practice habit so you can see awesome progress in the guitar.